You ever have to deal with a really fucked up, annoying little kid on a video game? Let's deal with that together. In case you don't know what I was talking about in the beginning, here's some hints. Don't kill me! Don't! Please, no! I will fucking fuck you fucking stupid! I will fucking chuck your head off! Like a fucking stupid! Oh, fuck! Stop! Asshole! Thanks for... Thanks for doing that That's great. But seriously, people today are like, even parents are like, I wish my kids would not play violent video games. Well, newsflash to these parents, you are the idiot buying these kids the game. There is an M rating on this game for a reason, okay? Whether it's Call of Duty, Battlefield... Uh, insert other violent video game that's M-rated here. You buy it for your kid because you are afraid that they are going to throw a tantrum, that they are going to hate you, and I'm telling you right now that if you say no to them, they will respect you more than if you actually get them the game. If you give your child everything they want in life, they will walk all over you. As, I mean, think about it. Do you honestly think that giving them everything they want is raising them correctly? Because they are going to grow up thinking that they are entitled to everything. And that is where you are screwing up as a parent. Now, I am not technically saying you are bad parents for buying this kid the game. I am just saying that you should carefully consider which games to buy your kid. Because if your kid is easily offended by stuff, and he goes into Xbox Live or whatever PS or whatever PlayStation has... For live, I don't know what they call it, because I'm an Xbox guy. Hey, Xbox rules. Um, you, um, no, that's where, uh, kids get hurt, because their teammates are going to say, uh, mean, crucial things, like, kill yourself, and, uh, your parents don't love you, and this is why your daddy left, and stuff like that. Um, this is where... Basically, this gaming consoles have become the center for cyberbullying. And if you expose your child to that, it is on you. Not your child, it's on you. So please, I am begging you. Please, parents, consider what games to buy your kids. Okay? I understand you want your kids to love you and respect you, and you are, but you are not going to get that respect by giving them everything they want in life. You have the right to say no to your kid, and your kids will grow up to be actually respectful to their elders if you tell them no for stuff. If you say, yeah, son, you can have a hundred bucks of my money to go spend on whatever the hell you want down at Walmart or the video game store, go right ahead. You know, if, if your kid asks you for money and you say no, your kid will know that he has to earn his own money to get his own video game. Now I get it. Wait, no, I'm done. Because uh, I'm actually out of time. So guys, this has been this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, and as always, I will see you in the next video. God bless. Peace out. I'm out. Bye-bye.